Did you know that the current version of Half-Life 1 is missing several menu items? One of which should be right here? Let us quickly talk about those lost options. What were they good for, how you can get them back and how they can make your life easier. A Half-Life life hack, so to speak. Just that this isn't 5 minute crafts, so this is actually useful. <laughs> what the fuck? A long time ago, the Half-Life menu used to look like this. This is the WON retail version, so pre-Steam. And here we find the option to change game. Clicking on it brings us into this big menu, listing all sorts of games and mods based on Half-Life. In my case here, a lot of Counter-Strike versions. But also Team Fortress Classic. See? Down here. These menu items correspond with the files installed in your Half-Life folder. Official Valve games and mods behave the same way in this file structure. And activating a game here will launch you right into the new games menu, like this old version of Team Fortress. This change game menu negated the need to have 25 different desktop icons with shortcuts to launch each and every mod. It saved me from a lot of clutter on my computer. Modern Half-Life running with Steam does not feature this menu. Half-Life and its sub-games and mods are launched through Steam. However, sometimes a mod just refuses to show up in Steam and you have to fiddle around with shortcuts again. Especially if it's an older mod. Well, fear no more, let us re-enable the custom game menu. And while doing so, enable other missing menus. Navigate into your Half-Life folder. Go to Valve, Resource and look for the file named GameMenu.res. You'll notice that under point 13 some lines seem to be missing. Let's add them. Game Menu Change Game and Open Change Game Dialog. For your convenience I've posted this into the video description, so you'll just copy it over and save it. As you can see, we can now launch our Half-Life based games through the Half-Life 1 in-game menu. This is pretty useful, especially for the folks playing old mods. Let us go back to the res file. There is a section which is commented out. Simply delete the forward slashes and save. And boom, there's the demo viewer in the main menu. Maybe this is more useful for games like Counter-Strike, but the process works just the same as in any other Half-Life based game. So you're welcome, you got the demo viewer right at your convenience. But we can do more with the res file. We can even add our own menu points, even if they don't serve much purpose. Let's hypothetically say you often find yourself in a situation that you just need to be on Dust 2 as fast as possible. Alright. Engine. Map. D underscore Dust 2. And we shall call this menu option Dave. Props to you if you know why I called it Dave. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Launch the game, click on Dave, and I forgot to put Dust2 into the Half-Life folder. Yeah, it, just be sure the thing you want to launch actually exists in the files. But in principle, you are free to launch all sorts of nonsense straight through the main menu. Yes, even this. And with these useful tips and useless ideas, I'll leave you for today, hoping that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then I'm pretty sure you know what I would like you to do. Give this video a like, subscribe for future content, and if you absolutely love what we do, why not consider supporting us on Patreon, as our lovely supporters got to see this video way before anyone else, and also got to bask in all the nonsense we post in the Patreon section of our Discord server. Our wonderful supporters are... Lone Wolf, Zed Gladys, Wrapped in Glass, Cookie, Theto, Revolve 556, Plasma, Tom, Rainbow Flash, Chris Lever, Strange Module, Cop Fighter, Inter, CJ Surrett, Sir K, Ram Gilama, Whiskey, Christoph, MTD, Hub, Leggy Boy, Daniel, Freylem, Crony XS, Theo Vio, iMantrix, Armon, Ozzy Loco, Rolling Rock, Sidonai, Bobcat Racer, and Golden Fox. A heartfelt thank you for your support. To them and everyone else, thanks for watching. So, see you guys next time. Until then, have a nice day and as always, goodbye and guten Tag. <laughs>